contentious throughout the contest? Uh, was it just how close it was? Was it chatter? What What is it that made this game almost feel like a March game? Um, like you said, how, how close it was. And um, to me, to me, I honestly think it was the adversity that we went through the first half of the season. I think that made us come out and, and want, want to do better than we did the first half. Everybody started zero and zero tonight, and we just wanted to come out and be one and zero. So I think that's what it, what made it for us. Bryce, any thoughts on that? Just yeah, I a mean, lot of chatter, a lot of yeah. It was, it was a lot of talk. We know uh, they was you know supposed to be top team in this conference, and we we wanted them to show us, and that's how that's our mentality here on out for everybody in the OVC like. They feel like they better than us. Like everybody ruling us out, so we got a uh, chip on our shoulder to play every game now. Demarcus, uh, coaches talked about it. The seniors, you know, getting back on track. It's a group effort. You guys not starting tonight. How how did you guys take that? Each of you personally tonight. Today? I mean, I took it as we got to do what's best for the team. Um, bringing us off the bench to probably what's best for for tonight, just to make us come in and play with more more energy and passion, which we, what we needed at the beginning of the season, which we haven't been playing with. I think. But um, just just doing what's best for the team, and I think him bringing the, off the bench, like it was a pretty good play by him. Right. Yeah. So like going off what Coke said, uh, he did it to me last year. You know, recently I've been struggling a lot on, throughout my games, and it gives you a different look when you come off the bench. Like you can see how the game is being played, and you can see where you could attack or make a play. So it works to our advantage, and it's just all about us. Just you know maintaining our play, like being consistent. And that's basically it. That's all he really want from us, like just being consistent on a daily basis. And by him sitting us, we, we knew not to, you know, give in a pout. It's just, like Croak said, it's what's best for the team right now. So if that's going to keep working, then we'll just be, we'll be fine with it. Did hitting those back-to-back -back threes, that, does it feel like that slump might be over? Did a, did a light bulb fly yeah, for you? Yeah, because honestly, you know, I've been shying away from my work. Due to like you know, uh, I've been wearing myself out, like working so hard, and I spoke to uh, Orby Reese yesterday before practice, and he told me that I can't shy away from like working hard, like don't stop, don't don't go away from what's working. And this morning I got up very early, like I've been doing over the summertime. I got around 5:30, and I just shot until, you know, it just felt right until I felt comfortable shooting the ball. And today's show, you know, I was confident in all my shots. Through pregame, I was making shots. So I was ready to go off the jump. DeMarcus, yeah, just describe what uh, what you saw on the play before the block. Or just, yeah, just describe, you know, what, what were you seeing on the court that led up to it? Um, the block? Yeah. <laughs> all I know was they were running in transition. And it was, I, I don't know, I think it was Bryce at start that was ahead of me. And I knew he was gonna try to go up or go over them, and I, I I just timed it up and and went and took it off the glass. So it was really just a timing thing, just because I knew as a basketball player you're gonna try to get create contact, and mm -hmm. I I don't know if it was Bryce or Stark, yeah. like I said, I don't know if it was um, they he tried to jump into him or try to go over him, but he was gonna do one, and I just timed it up perfect. Everyone knew the TSU wasn't gonna go away. You have that pass around the corner, they tie it up on the slam. How did you guys finish? Um, just, just stay poised. Don't, just don't let it get to us. I mean, I, ma I made a bad pass, which is my mistake, of course. But uh, we just, we just stayed poised and stayed locked in and wanted to finish the game out. You guys haven't had many comeback wins this year. I mean, you trailed by eight at the half. They had a chance to make it a double-digit lead. W what does it say, not only that you win this game, but, but how you did it? Uh, just facing the adversity. Adversity always going to hit, and when times get hard, when things ain't going our way, you just can't give in. And as you know, as a leader of this team, I just got to be positive at all times, no matter what's going on, and just being positive, positive talk, positive talk at all times. And God's going to follow, and it's going to keep their hopes up, and then you're going to start believing. And once you start believing, you know, nothing can stop you. You guys this season um, had kind of had trouble getting in the free throw line, but not so much in this game. I mean, you guys were able to shoot 43 free throw attempts to their 26th. Were they giving you guys the drive, or just what was, how was it that you guys were able to get to the, get to the free throw line tonight? Um, I don't think anything was going to be given to us in the game. It was, it was just our effort um, to get to the basket and, and stay aggressive during the whole game, and that's what got us to the free throw line. Marcus, with, it, with as good as TSU has been this year, and then, you know, as up and down as you guys have been, do you think you surprised the league when they see the final score of this game? Um, the league, yeah. To us, it's not a surprise because that's how we're supposed to play every night. That's what that's what's expected here at Murray State, and um, and 
we, we just gotta we just gotta stay like this every, every time and just put, and just play with that type of energy and passion every game. Bryce, what do you think? Yeah, like he said, you know, outsiders may be surprised, but we know we capable of. You know, guys work hard, and most of all, you know, we really a family. We going through we went through tough times early in the year, but you know, Christmas break meant a lot to us. Like we came together even more. And we just let all the, you know, the negativity out. And now it's all about being positive moving forward. And, you know, we got each other back. No matter if somebody's going through something, like we all here for each other. And it's going to show on the court. If you guys combine for 46 points for the rest of the season <laughs> but come off the bench, does that matter at all? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I mean, as long as we producing what's best for the team, that's what matters. And we just trying to win. We trying to do what it takes to win. And... You know, Croak did a heck of a job today. I was very proud of him, and he got to sustain it, just like everybody else. You know, Stark's been doing a great job thus far. You know, that guy, he's, he's a stud. Terrell has been holding it down for the bigs, and, you know, it's up to us, you know, just to – it's on us to just maintain everything and keep everything stable so that we can win, you know, because we, we X-Factors. We X-Factors, and that's the only way I can put it.